Today I'm going to be demonstrating the treatment of acute or chronic back pain with the use of cold laser therapy. Cold laser therapy is also known as PBMT. Uh, it stands for photobiomodulation technique. Photo meaning light, bio meaning life, and modulation meaning to inhibit or stimulate. So we would be inhibiting pain or stimulating tissue repair, and, and oftentimes both. So I have the machine set up here, and we're gonna start by using this probe. This is an LED probe, light emitting diode. And we simply palpate for any um, discomfort, trigger points, or, or simply the region where Lou has been complaining of. So just for, for the sake of getting started, I'll place the probe up against his skin and, and we'll zap him for about 30 seconds. Lou will most likely not be feeling much at all. Um, at the most, he might feel a warm, tingling sensation. Do you feel anything at the moment, Lou? Yeah, it's uh, a little bit warm. Okay, so it is largely a passive technique, and that's perhaps the most unsatisfying aspect of it from the patient's perspective. Usually patients like to feel something going on, and with cold laser therapy, it's, it's a bit of an anticlimax in that perspective. But the research is overwhelming, and it's shown that we are achieving a lot of tissue repair and reduced inflammation in the use of this. The way it works is it has its effect on a protein in mit mitochondria called cytochrome C oxidase. Um, the, the light is, is beamed down, so to speak, at a very low frequency, which is why it's cold. It's not infrared or microwave, which would be very, very hot, or the type of laser you'd use for skin um, hair growth removal or tattoo removal. And it's, uh, it's comfortable as a result. So I would choose the area which I'm going to treat on Lou and do five to six minutes using this diode. I also have a, another one that's slightly bigger for carrying a larger area, which I could be using on Lou's back right now, but this particular probe is a little bit more penetrating than the bigger one, and I want to get to the deeper parts of the tissues. If I want to go deeper still, I'll use the actual laser. As I place it up against Lou's back, you'll start to hear a sound, which is a bit like an angry cricket. So it's registering skin conduction here, and basically the higher the number, the more likelihood there is of a trigger point. So I'll find the spot that I like, and we'll zap away, so to speak. So uh, I, can, I can locate the area by looking at the, the machine or simply by feeling, you know, with palpation. And again, this is 30 second bouts, and once that 30 seconds is over, I'll choose another area. 